Welcome, Psych2Goers. In the comments of a recent poll on religion, many of you shared that you've had bad experiences with religion and that it has traumatized you. Religious trauma is a topic that can receive wildly different reactions. Some might say it's made up and completely impossible, while others knew what we meant as soon as they heard the term religious trauma. We're dealing with a somewhat sensitive topic again, so please be mindful that if this isn't your experience, maybe someone else's. We are strictly looking at what the research tells us about religious trauma. We just ask you to keep an open mind and stay respectful as we explore a type of trauma that isn't spoken about often enough. We aim to do the same. The goal of this video isn't to make religion look bad. We're looking at this from a purely academic and empathetic perspective. So let's get into it. The big question we're asking in this video is whether religious trauma is real. The opinion of both psychologists and religious scholars is that religious trauma is real. The trauma largely seems to stem from the prevalence of shame and guilt in some religious circles. Because of this, it's a unique problem that can be addressed from both a psychological and theological point of view. When we talk about shame and guilt when it comes to religion, we're talking about things like feeling bad constantly for any little thing. Not praying enough or saying a little white lie can make you feel terrible, but in the way a conscience regularly would. The guilt is directly tied to religious morality and the fear of hell. It is a battle of extremes. An extremely small action or even thought has an extremely large toll on your mental health. If you have religious trauma, you might think that this is how everyone deals with their guilt. For the vast majority of religious people, it isn't. Trauma can happen when you face abuse. This can happen in your religious experience as well. The term for this type of trauma is spiritual abuse. This happens when someone uses your religion or spirituality against you to manipulate you, exploit or deceive you. This can happen if someone misuses scripture to control you or guilt trip you. If you faced other kinds of abuse from someone with a religious authority, this could also cause religious trauma. You may start to resent religion. The initial sting of the trauma may die down over time, but your opinion of religion is less likely to change if the trauma isn't addressed. Not everyone experiences religious trauma, so you may feel like an outsider, as though you know something about religion that others don't. In reality, everyone has a different experience with religion. This is why some insist that their religion, or all religions, are positive, whereas those who have left their religion can insist that all religions are negative. It all comes down to your experience. Ironically, after most other traumatic events, if religion played no part in the trauma, religion can help people cope with their trauma and heal. Spiritual abuse from religious trauma put you in a difficult spot where not only do you feel betrayed, ostracized, and used, but you can't rely on religion to help you. This can make you feel separated from your family and community if they still practice the religion. All of this together might make you feel very, very alone. If religious trauma exists, how do we find our way out of it? The best thing to do with any type of trauma is to speak to a professional about it. Some people find their way back to religion, while others do not. Your situation is unique to you, but you're not alone. Religious trauma can give you a great sense of uncertainty and insecurity. To treat religious trauma, the first step would be to reestablish a sense of self-agency and be aware of power dynamics, while avoiding situations where you feel a lack of choice or agency. Of course, that is a general idea of what might help. Each person is different. You may want to maintain your beliefs and find a healthier way to celebrate, or you may need help coping with things like religious OCD. There is such a thing as religious trauma. If you think you have experienced religious trauma, remember that you're not alone in this. No matter where your religious experience has taken you, there are many people who can relate to you. Let us know in the comments if any of this sounds familiar to you. Remember, everyone has their own experience and perspective, so be respectful. If this video gave you some perspective or taught you something new, please leave a like. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. Thanks for learning with us.